Uh, Steph Curry was back in the lineup for the Warriors in game one against the Nuggets. He played 22 minutes off the bench. Uh, he had 16 points, but it was Jordan Poole who stole the show. He had 30 in his playoff debut. Pretty nice. Uh, the Warriors are big favorites in game two. So, Nick, do you expect them to roll once again and cover the spread here? Yeah, and this is another seven-point spread, but yeah, I do I do expect them to cover in this one. Um, I understand that, you know, Nikola Jokic, we talk about him from a fantasy perspective all the time, and he's, again, another star carrying your team to the postseason and whatever success you have because no Jamal Murray. But again, no Jamal Murray. It's been like that all year. Um, and I think with Steph Curry not even getting his full allotment of minutes and shots and everything, how do you not respect that coming into this game where even if he gets, like, still a fraction of that, you know, maybe increased volume, but a fraction of that, I don't know how the Warriors are going to go and hang with that um, because they showed they couldn't do it before. Do I think Jordan Poole's going to do what he did again? Not necessarily, but I don't think he's going to have to because Steph's going to get more opportunities. All right, Matt, do you agree? I think this is the first answer where Nick and I are on opposite sides. Although the point he just raised at the end there is kind of where I'm looking to. I'm just drawing a different conclusion from it. So I don't think Jordan Poole can repeat what he did in game one. And I also don't see Steph Curry's minutes ramping up too much. So you could kind of spin this both ways. Like he played in the low twenties, but he did miss a couple minutes at the end there for the blowout. And if the game were closer, he might've played 24 or 25 minutes instead of the 21 to 22 that he got. But at the same time, I don't see Steph Curry getting above 30 minutes yet. Like they're being a little cautious with him and we probably see mid to high twenties now, not 30 plus yet, which means more Jordan pool. And as good as he is, he's not Steph Curry. And I think that that distinction where Curry gets 10 less minutes than he might get if this game were a month from now, I think that that is enough for Denver to keep it close. And Nikola Jokic is still the best player on the floor. Um, He did not play great in game one. I think he'll be able to bounce back and have a better game too. So I'm leaning Denver. I don't think they win or anything, but I do think they can cover the spread. 